What's up everybody, my name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. Today I'm excited because I finally got my hands on a Blood Oath 2023 pack number nine. So, finally got my hands on one of these. I had seen it maybe twice throughout the summer when I was doing my bourbon hunts and looking around at different stores, but each time I saw it, it was listed for 250 or 300 or something along those lines. So, randomly the other day, I decided to stop in my favorite place, Marketplace Wine and Spirits in California, Maryland. By the way, if you ever go there, just mention my name, just let them know that I sent you. Maybe they'll get you in your good graces, but uh, yeah. They randomly had two of them and they were listed at 150. So when I saw that, I was like, yep, buying that. Finally got my hands on it. The Pact 8 last year, I believe, was runner up for my whiskey of the year last year on the Pact 8. So I'm really, really excited to try the Pact 9. They are completely different every year. So I could end up hating this one. Who knows? But one of the most unique boxes out there, it comes in this like, I think it's pine. I don't know, but it smells so good. The wood, it's just like fresh out of the sawmill. Got the Blood Oath on there. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in Oloroso Sherry Cast. So really excited to try this one today. I did pop it and smelled it maybe a week or two ago, but I haven't actually poured and tasted any of it yet. So I am excited to do that with you all today. Okay, so the Blood Oath bottles, I think they look great. They look expensive, they look important. And this is going to be packed number nine. By the way, if you don't know, Lux or Blood Oath is made by Lux Row. So this is pack number nine. It's coming in at 98.6 proof. I'm gonna try and read this the best I can. The 2023 release. A masterful union of two well-bred bourbons and one finished bourbon, starting with an oaky 16-year-old that teases with brown sugar and spicy anise. Next, a luscious 12-year-old evokes leather and vanilla on the nose with fresh honey and caramel notes. Finally, a seven-year-old finished in Spanish Oloroso sherry cask carries the aroma of sweet sherry while sat saturating the palate with dark fruit, molasses, chocolate, and tobacco. Salute. So, it's got 16-year-old, 12-year-old, and seven-year-old juice in here, so officially a seven-year-old, but it's got some 16-year-old stuff in here. The Blood Oath attests that every batch of Blood Oath is the undertaking of one man, a student of both bourbon and science, loyal to no one family, favoring no one distillery, and bound by no philosophy. This bourbon connoisseur has one goal in mind, to seek out bourbons rare and wonderful, famous and forgotten, then bottle them in a combinations previously unimagined for a lucky few. Not to cater to anyone's loyalties, he has sworn to never reveal where he finds his bourbon, but only to promise to choose and make the best he knows. Loop, loose lips never tasted something so good. So I'm very excited to do it and try out Blood Oath Pact number nine, finished in Oloroso Sherry Cast with you all today. Let's go ahead and pop the bottle, get the nosing out of the bottle. Okay, super excited, super excited. Oh yeah, sweet milk chocolate. A little bit of leather. Definitely some of the uh, sherry in there, but it's like a light sherry. Some sherries can be really like rich and deep, but this is like a light sherry, but it's super milk chocolate. A little bit of honey, just a tad bit of honey. All right, let's go ahead and just pour it into the glass and get it out of the glass. It smells maybe one of the most, out of the bottle at least, milk chocolatey smelling ones that I've ever smelled before. So we'll, I'll be excited to see if that transfers over to the palate. Coming in at 98.6 proof. Hey, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel because we're trying to do big things here, make a big push for the end of the year. Got a lot of really great things planned. And if you really wanna support the channel, consider hitting the join button below this video. I would really, really appreciate it. But anyways, nosing coming straight out of the glass. Oh yeah, there's the chocolate. You get a lot more of the sherry influence once you pour it out of the glass. Molasses. Molasses, sherry, oakiness. Kind of a mustiness. That's probably from the 16 year old stuff in there. The mustiness as well with that milk chocolate overlaying everything. 
Smells really good. I'm really excited to try this one today. I have high hopes because I really, really liked the Blood Oath Pact 8. I would love to try and get uh, every pack from here on out. I'm not really going to think that I can go back and get all the previous packs because they're going to be super expensive because they only do the one release a year. So you either get it or you don't pretty much, or you have to pay a super premium. So I'm excited to try this one today. Oh, that chocolate on there, that milk chocolate with the with the fruitiness from the sherry behind it smells so good. It smells like a fruity chocolate, like a candy, like you get in the Valentine's Day boxes. It smells good. So let's try it today. Rank it on the tier system. Cheers, everybody. That's good. It's got, you get struck with the fruitiness from the sherry up front. It's almost like a, like a fizzy cherry cola. And then it's got the chocolate undertones behind that fizzy cherry cola. And then there's some oakiness beneath all of that upon the first sip here. Yeah, fizzy cherry cola. It's when you hold it in there a little bit more, you get a little bit of uh, spiciness on the end. They said, I think anise on the bottle, spicy anise. So that's probably what it is. Now that's in my brain, I'll probably go with spicy anise since it says it right on the bottle. But when you hold it in longer, you do get more of the spiciness. So if you like the spiciness, hold it in your mouth longer. If you don't like the spiciness, get it in and get it down. Mm. Especially if you put it right on the tip of your tongue. When you put it right on the tip of your tongue, you get a really nice milk chocolate candied with those, those fruitiness. And then it's got kind of, it's, it's weird that it's got like this, it feels like a fizzy, fizzy taste. So that's where I'm getting like this dark cherry cola to it along with that chocolate, along with the oak, along with the spiciness from the spicy anise. I really, really like it. All right, let's do another taste. See if I'm getting any other uh, notes on there before we go ahead and rank it on the tier system. Mm, got, some, got, a, got some smooth vanilla in there that time, like a nice, smooth, creamy vanilla. Maybe even a hint of on the back end and on the finish, it almost leaves a little bit of almost like a tobacco-y, cigar -y feel. Like, you know how you feel after you take like a puff of a cigar? That that kind of mouth feel. That's kind of what it feels slash tastes like on the end there. So, I like this one a lot. I think I might be biased to Blood Oath for whatever reason, even though I've only ever had one before. I just like pretty much everything about what they're doing with it, how they package it, what it tastes like, how it's different every year. So... Maybe I'm coming in a little bit biased, keep that in mind going in, but at the same time, I really like this stuff. So let me give it one more drink before I rank it on the tier system. It's good. I like it a lot. If you don't like sherry, it might not be your thing. If you're not into the wine finished uh, bourbons, whiskeys, you might not like this at all because it definitely has that influence on it. But for me, I like those. I don't mind wine finishing at all. I actually really like a lot of different wine finishes that I've had. So on the tier system, the Blood Oath 2023 release, pack number nine. I think I'm gonna put it on the A tier. I really like it. I really like that depending on what you do and what you focus on, you get some complex notes. It's not overly oily or viscous at all, so it's not gonna be able to bump up into an S tier for me. If it had that, maybe it would have the chance, but it's really, really good. I like it a lot. It is in the A tier for me here going into the end of the year, so. We'll see if it makes it into the running for my whiskey of the year like pack eight did last year and actually took second place. I'm not sure. I'll have to look through everything throughout the year. Maybe do a couple things and get down to like a final five or so that I'm gonna do. But yeah, it's really good. I like it a lot. Blood Oath pack number nine going in the A tier for me. Have you guys had this? What do you think about it? Too high, too low? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I feel like it could really be a little bit more polarizing than last year's just because this one has that very well influenced wine notes in there but that may be some of the best milk chocolate notes I've ever gotten out of a bourbon before which I really really enjoy so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed drinking and making it make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you for your next drink